All right, let's take a look at the following question here. They give us this uh, shape here, and they want us to find the area of the shaded region. So this area here in blue, we have to figure it out. The only thing they give us is they give us a chord uh, going from here to here, and we know it has a length of 10. So how can we go about doing this here? So first thing we want to take a look at is we know uh, the following property. If you create a perpendicular line, uh, in this case here, that goes from the center of this circle to the actual chord that we have here. That is going to meet at 90 degrees because it is a perpendicular line, and that'll actually bisect the chord. So that is a geometric property that we do have that we can work with, and I'm going to label this with a lowercase r, and that'll signify the radius of the smaller circle. Uh, since this does bisect here, we know this is 5 and 5. And I've also got the larger radius of the larger circle, a label with a capital R. So from here, we have the following relationship. Using Pythagorean theorem, I know that R squared plus 5 squared is going to equal capital R squared. So we've got R squared plus 25 is capital R squared here. So we have this to work with here. I can rewrite this as 25 equals R squared minus lowercase r squared. Now what we want to find, right, what we're looking to find is we're looking to find the area of the shaded region. Well, that'll just end up being the area of the big circle minus the area of the small circle. But as you see here, I can factor out this pi, and I'm left with R squared minus lowercase r squared, and we already know that the difference between the squares of the larger circle and smaller circle of their, ra of their radii end up coming out to be 25, this ends up being pi times 25, so this is exactly 25 pi. So for this problem here, the area of the shaded region is 25 pi. Thank you.